Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and we are starting a new season uh, in the save. Uh, I've actually done quite a few matches now in this season but I thought I'd come in sort of um, at the end of September just to show you how it's going uh, rather than coming in right at the start of the season. It's been quite a surprising one actually. So we got, we're about to play Eep's Fleet um, and let me just confirm some of the suggestions from our coaches I think I've done this before anyway um, I'm preparing a little bit a bit of a surprise actually this is in the future you're going to be watching this in the future so hopefully you are aware of the surprise I'm preparing for the channel so that's I kind of came off FM to get everything ready for that and I'm about to record the surprise event for Christmas which will have happened for you if you're watching this now um, yeah so we we are going to play Eve Suite, but before we get into that, obviously I need to introduce you to the new players, to the new season, etc, etc. So let's just go back a bit, take a step back. It's been an incredibly surprising start of the season. Usually, actually this wasn't the case last season, but usually we have quite a bit of a struggle starting the season off. But it's happening in reverse for us. So we, we struggled. Uh, a little bit more since the start of the season. I've, I'm saying struggling, but it's been draws. We 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 the draws champions again. I think. Uh, so we started really well with three straight off wins for the start of the season, and I was really impressed. Three clean sheets as well. Um, then we had three draws, and now we've been winning and drawing, winning and drawing. So it's been quite surprising because we're brand new to this league. We've just been promoted and we shouldn't be winning we should be losing consecutively really this this basically what we should be expecting to see but we're not seeing that now a big surprise uh, that i was able to uh, to do comparing to comparing to other saves that i had with hereford and also what i've been able to do in previous seasons in this um version of the game we have quite a young squad so if we take a look at our squad, a lot of them are new, and I'm going to show you the notes in a second just to prove this, but I'll, you'll see a lot of familiar names as well, but but a lot of them are new. And if we look at the general info, more than half of them are under 23. The oldest player we have, we, well, we only have two players above 30, and the oldest that, that we have is 33. So we have quite a lot of young players and this might be the reason why we're doing so well because at least they have the physicality to um, to deal with you know the demand if they're lacking technical ability or mental ability they're able to kind of um, shift it to physicality. That's my theory. I haven't actually looked at the squad comparison so we're going to look at that as well. Now uh, let's bring up the notes and then I'll show you just how many new players we brought in. So starting with the goalkeepers, uh, we actually have the same goalkeeper as last, as the beginning of last season, Kami Binny, who refused to have, to have his loan extended last season, and he also refused to sign for us last season because his loan expired in January or February, I should say. He actually decided to sign for us this season, so Kami is back, and we went and got a different goalkeeper uh, for the backup. Uh, Charlie Horlock as well. Charlie was in Itching, which is not a team that I ever knew before. So from the low league, and I can't remember where Cammy's from. Albion Rovers, Sterling. Okay, so Scottish goalkeeper and a backup English goalkeeper. We have quite a lot of Scottish players in this squad. So so they are new-ish. Cammy isn't, but yeah. Uh, and then we have two brand new right fullbacks. Ryan Dalglish. He's 19 years old. He's got great potential. Look at his physicality compared to the rest of his attributes. Quite good. He doesn't have natural fitness though, which is a bit concerning. But uh, so he's come from us from Liverpool. Um, he obviously didn't make it there and he decided to sign for a low league um, team. And his backup is Sai. Or Sai. Saya Sashdev, 19 year old player, also great potential going forward, is from Sheffield United. 
Similarly, on the left side of the fence, we also have two brand new players. Michael Kelly is 26 year old. He's actually a real player, not a region. And he's been playing for, well, he's been around actually. He's been playing for Eastleigh, Oldham, in real in real life for East Eastleigh and Yeovil and Bristol Rovers. So he's been around a little bit up and down the leagues. And to back him up, we also have, where is Lenny? Lenny. Agbeir, I want to say 19 year old, is also a real player, very young in real life. Uh, and he's come from Celtic, so he's a Scottish player again. He was most recently playing for Sket Sket Celtic B in the game. Um, again, full changes for the central defender defense role. Um, Charlie Oliver was with us last season on loan, so he doesn't really count as new, but yeah, he's signed for us on a permanent deal from Southport. And we also went and got Kelly on loan, Kelly, ba uh, Kelly Banner from Sterling and Montreux. Uh, most recently he went on loan somewhere that I can't pronounce. Uh, no changes for the cover position, so we still have Harrison Muswamba, and we still have, uh, where's the other guy? Cam. Cam Condola also with us still. They're both young, 20 years old for Cam and 22 years old for Harrison. We had one change for the defense position. Uh, we still have Barton. Adam Barton is still with us, 33 year old, our oldest player. But we got in Aiden Lindley. Um, he's great, got great potential as well. We we couldn't keep it was George Abbott was with us and he was had great potential. Uh, but he decided not to renew the contract, so this guy from Aston Villa has come to us and he's got uh, quite good potential, hopefully he'll stick around with us. Full change for the uh, midfield, so starting with um, the Boom Ezzy, we tried to get him last year but he didn't sign for us. He decided to stay with the team he was at. We signed him on a non-contract this year, he's 19 years old only. He's he doesn't look as good as he looked last year, to be fair. He should have signed for us last year. But he's, he's with us. In real life, he's playing for Derby. Uh, and then he was in the game transferred to King uh, Kingstonian. He decided to stay with them last season. But as you can see, he's doing better with us already. So he should have come to us, really, last season. But he decided not to. Fair enough. Johnny Brown came on loan. And he's 18 years old. Uh, and we're giving him a bit of playing time. He's from Al Aloha. Is that how you say it? Aloha is team in Scotland. He's a regen anyway, so you won't find him in real life. Another position with no changes is the right inside, not inside, sorry, inverted winger position. We still have Kaja and we still have Dahl in that position. Similarly as well for the left side on the white target man, we still have Dan and also we still have Joel Tabiner. Uh, two new players for the Engash position. I have uh, this guy online, Georgi Vazev. He's a Bulgarian player, regen. Uh, looking really good. It's just a shame that he's a got fickle personality, but that could be an advantage for us, actually. Uh, just because they tend to be a bit more fiery players. Um, and he's from Oldham. And the second player for that position is Christy Montgomery. Scottish player, 20 years old, is a real player. You'll be able to find him in real life. And uh, he's in real life playing for Blackburn in the game. Uh, he's playing for Strathaspe. I don't know how to say that. Anyway, he's with us now. And finally, in attack, we only got one new player. So obviously, Doolan retired. So we got uh, Damini Hunter to replace him. Young player, 20 years old. Uh, who plays for Watford at the moment in real life um, in the game you got transferred to St. Albans and then Far Farnsborough and now he's with us he didn't do too well in the previous clubs he's not doing too well for us either so you know he's just a backup player is he on a contract or is he non-contract he's non-contract so it's okay now um, I've tried to play for professional status the board wouldn't budge like they wouldn't do it we still we had nearly a million in the bank so i was like well 
come on guys, like got a million in the bank, we can make us professional. Instead, I decided to invest in youth. So we are upgrading our youth facilities and we are gonna improve our youth level next season, hopefully. Okay, enough with the notes. Uh, now we know our squad, we actually managed to keep the uh, cohesion good. Even though we made a load of transfers, the cohesion is really good. Maybe because the personalities are very similar, they all tend to be balanced. Uh, the only players who aren't balanced in personality is Dan, who is resolute. And uh, obviously we mentioned fickleness for uh, Zavet. Vazev. Uh, Joseph Brown or Johnny Brown is determined and uh, Izzy is determined also. Um, but yeah, so pretty similar personalities. Maybe that is why we also have a nice spread of nationalities. So there's a usually quite a um, decent group of English and Scottish. So that helps to stick them, st stick them together. Barton's obviously used to our club. So he's even though he's Irish, it doesn't really make a difference. The same thing with Kasia. The only guy who doesn't have really like a, a person, uh, he's new to the club and also from a different nationality is Georgi Vazev. But let's see how he's doing in terms of social groups. Yeah, he's on his own at the moment. Okay, so, but yeah, so, so that's probably why we kept the cohesion in a good level. Okay, so at the moment we're playing with a cautious approach. That's what the coaches decided to recommend to us in recent matches. So we're going to carry on like that. Um, I'm just going to go through and see who I want to play. We definitely want to play Sai for this match. So I tend to give the op playing opportunities to the players that have been doing the best overall. Um, and that tends to sort of work most of the time. We'll probably just play one match because I've spoken quite a bit already. So play one match and then I'll play two after the transfer window. And yeah, we'll see. Um, it's quite... Um, encouraging that we've been able to um to to, to stick to the playoff zone already <laughs> even though we've just been promoted so the reason i'm leaving brown in is because he's we currently have a promise ongoing that i'm playing giving him playing time so even though he's not doing as well as as he i'm gonna give him some playing time just to fulfill that promise keep everyone happy if possible um okay right so no changes really i've been playing this this same 11 and this same bench for about three matches now i think uh obviously i've changed this guy so I, just now so oh no i must have made some changes before i can't remember doing that but again, I did come off to prepare for the... So, um, you've probably watched the surprise already, if you're watching this episode. But the, the what I thought to do for the Christmas surprise, the Christmas special, um, is take you through some of the games that I've played previously, uh, just privately. And give you a bit of a... You know, I haven't played them in years as well. So... Um, I haven't actually recorded the special yet. This is me speaking to the future about something I'm about to do, even though it happened already, if you're watching this. But yeah, so yeah, so I don't know how it's going to go. I'm going to have to relearn the games because I haven't played them in a while. But yeah, they're all sort of... Um, so I think it's going to include, hopefully, Civilization and Europe Universalis and City Skylines. And something else that I've forgotten. Oh, House Flipper. Um, yeah, so kind of like civilization slash city building slash home related things, which is a strange theme, really. But yeah, it's the kind of game. I wanted to include Motorsport, Motorsport Manager, but it's not compatible with my current OS. 
Um, so, so I'm, I'm not going to include that one. Another wild card. I'm going to try. I'm not have. I don't know if it's going to work with my OS, but Fate of the World as well, which is a bit of a, you know, let's save the world from climate change type game. But it's such an old game. I'm not sure if it will be compatible with the OS. Here. So we'll we'll give it a go. Yeah. So that is going to be this Christmas special. I'm going to record. 20 minutes to half an hour of each game which I know for, for these games actually is not a lot 20 minutes to half an hour of those games is actually not a lot at all but um, and then I'll release them throughout the Christmas week which will have happened if you're watching this already so if you haven't watched those um, off topic not football manager related at all games go and watch them they, I've made a special playlist, or oh, I will make, this is me telling you in the present tense, in the past tense, what I will do in the future. I haven't actually made the playlist, I just thought of this, of this now. But anyway, fun, fun games. So yeah, I will make, or I have made, a playlist um, just for the Christmas special. So not in the FM plus, um, playlist. And maybe if you haven't played those games before, maybe you, you'd like to try it. Then let me know how you get on. Okay, we need a goal here. Back to the game. Come on. Sapo song shoots and it's a goal. Well done. Now, Sapo song needs to redeem himself from last year, really, because last year he didn't do anything for the second half of the season. I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable in my chair. Okay, right. Um, let's do some subs. Taventhor's coming on. I should call him Tab Tabiner is his name. For some reason I call him Tabenthor. But it's Tabiner. Tabiner. There we go. Um, that's not really your position, but okay. Let's try you there and Lenny. Now the great thing that I found about the, the players that I've been able to find this season, they are so versatile. Like they can play, met, some of the players can play in like four or five different positions. Um, which is great when we have such a reduced bench. So only five players. I still, I still don't, I should probably I think this season I can probably put a goalkeeper on the bench. I've not thought of it. But actually thinking about it now, because I have so, like, I don't need that many... But, well, I don't technically need a goalkeeper. I've never used a goalkeeper as a sub, anyway. Um, but sometimes it might be useful. Yeah, so this season, if I wanted to, I could have a goalkeeper on a bench. Right, it looks like this might be our first first defeat of the season. It is. First defeat of the season. Thank you guys for supporting me through these hard times. Um, do we have time for one more? We probably have time for one more. Kingsling next. Uh, let's just see if we have time for it or not. I'll try and go through it as fast as I can. Um, yeah, so... I'm hoping that we'll be able to make the playoffs again this season. Uh, it's going quite well so far. Uh, one of the goalkeepers is complaining he's not having enough time. Um... Okay, so I'm going to have to play the other goalkeeper. So the moment... Oh gosh, this is full of promises. Some of them I don't intend to fulfill. Uh, but yeah. Oh, I need to play him as well. Ah, that's why he was in the 11. Okay, I understand now. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, oh, this guy's complaining as well. Okay, that's why they dropped it. Nope. 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 
Some of these I just... I'm not interested. Yeah, I'll praise him. Why not? Well done, well done. Um... Yeah, so quite a few players now complaining with lack of playing time. Obviously that has something to do with the fact that we signed, a, well, I suppose really good players. Some of them, I don't know how many, what's the ratio to star players to other players type thing, but. Okay, so he's backing down again. Yeah, we might have an issue with Benny. Okay, Dan is complaining. Dan wants to leave. Fair enough. I'm not gonna. Pro I'm not gonna. Um, offer him out there. Right. So we've got seven days to... F so I still need to play Johnny Brown in the next match. I also need to play this goalkeeper and this right defender. In order to keep them happy. And it's important for me to keep them happy because of that cohesion element as well. Um, I think it affects it. I'm not sure actually. It definitely affects the other parameters relating to dynamics. As you can see, I've fairly worked out where I need to click for things. So I don't really think about it too much. I think that's a little bit of what Football Manager is. After a while you get to learn where to click for all these different interactions you have to deal with all the time. It's a bit of a barrage of information which I don't read through. Okay, Kingsland has arrived. I'm not sure we'll have the time to actually play through the match in the episode because uh, I like to keep them below 25 minutes. But we are going to just set up for the match, I suppose. So play through the flanks. And we're going to have to change the goalkeeper. Change this guy for this guy. Uh, Charlie's doing well, so we don't need to sub him. This guy is still doing fine. Kelly is doing better than Lenny anyway. Lenny's getting a little bit unhappy, though, but... Well, we'll wait, we'll wait until that becomes a problem, I suppose. This guy needs to play for one more match. Kaja is doing fine. He did well in the last match, so we'll leave him on. Um, this guy wants to leave just because he's playing in the wrong role, but I'm like, hey, look, you're playing. You're playing a lot. So what is your issue? And okay. No other changes. I don't need to change anyone on the bench. I'm not going to put a goalkeeper in. Because I think that's a bit... That's a bit much. And I'll say my goodbyes as the game runs out, shall I? Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't checked out the Christmas special episodes for like various different games, go and check them out as well. Um, I'm, I'm sure we'll... You'll find it fun exploring these different games if you haven't played them before. And yeah, got some high hopes that we will be able to maintain the playoff position for the season. So hopefully we'll quickly progress to the next league up. That's the hope. Thanks so much for watching and watching till the end as well. Leave it a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to find out more. You can also head out to Patreon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.